My name is, the, is David uh, Aswani. I'm, uh, I'm from Kenya. Uh, I live in Nairobi. I am a Joomla volunteer, uh, working uh, with the Joomla event team. Uh, I am also a Joomla user group organizer for Nairobi, and uh, I'm also a Joomla event team. Uh, I, uh, Joomla the event organizer. So today I my topic is about uh, building with clay, which is uh, the the what I call the innovation that is out of necessity. And uh, <clears throat> and I will not speak very fast because of the translators. So I don't know if, if I'm speaking too fast, you just signal me from the booth. If I'm OK, you say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, OK. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. Uh, so I would, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, um, I'm married, uh, and uh, we live together with my wife in Nairobi. I am in the Joomla uh, cycling team, and uh, we have a sponsor, so we get 10 cents euro for every uh, one kilometer. I also am in the Joomla running team, so I also, I also run. So <clears throat> to start my, uh, my topic, I was going to ask how many of you are using an Android phones? Yeah. and. Uh, how many are using Apple? Yeah, a few. And how many are using Blackberry? No. <laughs> and how many have ever used a Blackberry? Yeah. And how many when you are using a Blackberry you you are you are ashamed to say that you are using a Blackberry? <laughs> Yeah, same to me. When, <laughs> when I was using the BlackBerry and, uh, and Apple was coming in too fast, and every time somebody would ask, are you using Apple or are you using BlackBerry? And when it was the time for me to say I'm using a BlackBerry, I was not lifting my hand up. <laughs> yeah, so... Just like me, I'm trying to get a SIM card. And I don't know how many of you, when you arrived here, you, you went to buy a SIM card. Yeah, and when you go to buy a SIM card, maybe you did not realize that uh, the technology you are using is the technology that was founded in Africa around 15 years ago, or, or maybe more. And uh, it was by a company called uh, Vodacom. And now, with like franchising, now pay as you go SIM card is uh, all over Europe. And uh, every time you travel, you don't need to be on uh, on uh, on uh, the international uh, tariff. You have to you have to you just buy a SIM card and use. So. I don't know, why, why do people invent? And I think that's the question that we'll be asking ourselves. And why do developers invent? Why, do, why did, uh, uh, for example, uh, Tesla invent the alternating current to power up a bulb and to power up a city? Why, why, uh, why did Henry Ford <laughs> want every car to have everything as long as it came, it was black. And, and why did uh, Eric uh, Merrifield invent the dollars? And I, I don't know if you all know about the dollars. It looks like this. And uh, this, is, uh, this is Cape Town. When you look behind it, you can, you can see the Robin Island. And uh, 
the dollars was invented by Eric Merrifield and uh, when a storm ripped the harbor and he was watching his kids uh, play with the bones of the oxen and uh, out of that he created uh, the dollars. And if it wasn't for his invention, then the, the, the global shipping industry will not have survived without the dollars. And, and that's how invention helps. And, and when you look at what pay as you go does and what the dollars does, and, and the same invention is, is, is an African invention, and the reason why we talk about the African invention is because the African invention is the invention out of necessity. Is an invention that, that, uh, that really helps. And, 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 uh, and, and solves the, the challenges for, 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 the, for, for the people. This is a, a slide I took. Uh, out of the, for, from President Bill Clinton's page. Uh, he said, I just touched down in Africa with the, at Chelsea Clinton, the daughter, excited to travel for the next 10 days at Clinton Foundation project. And then the, he got this response. You just touched down in Africa. You are in all 54 countries at the same time. <laughs> And many, many people, when you talk about Africa, they think Africa is uh, one country you can walk from the north, <laughs> where Jamel lives, to the south, where the dollars was, was invented. And, and the conversation continued uh, at Bill Clinton, awesome. I am in Africa too. I'm sure we'll just bump into each other on the street. It's such a small country. <laughs> So <laughs> Africa, Africa is not a country, <laughs> Africa is a continent. And uh, since I was speaking to, to I, I expected to speak to more Italians, I carried this slide with me of, uh, of uh, this I took from the, the Independent is a British newspaper. And, uh, the guy with the hat is uh, Samuel L. Jackson. The other guy with, the, with, with no hair is uh, Magic Johnson. All very pop celebrities of the of, of, uh, US, one a former basketballer, and another one is a filmmaker. So these guys were spotted somewhere in Italy uh, with their shopping, and they had walked, and they were tired, and they decided to sit. And uh, the newspaper picked it up like uh, these are uh, lazy migrants. They have come to Europe and they have taken the money and now they are shopping this expensive, <laughs> expensive stuff. But then when you look at Africa and uh, you have to show the, the map as it is, uh, and normally it's, 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 it's dark, and they ask, uh, why is it dark? Uh, it's because it's not a place where we waste electricity. <laughs> it's a, it, it's a, when, when you have something on and the other one is off. So when you are on your phone updating your Facebook status, the lights are off. And, and, uh, it's also a place where there is a lot of uh, global uh, network and connectivity that is happening at the same time that, that powers out the, the way people innovate. And then we ask why, how would we use the, you know, the, the technology that is used uh, somewhere else, in London, in Los Angeles, in Nairobi, or in New Delhi? To, to, to help in solving some of the, the, the challenges that we are facing. And then we come to the, 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 the real innovation. 
So when you swipe, uh, there is this thing in the US where you, you, you put in your phone and then you swipe it and then you make a payment and then you say, now we have liberated the, the point of sale. And, and, and it's, it's beautiful, it's amazing. But then again, you ask yourself, who needs a credit card? And, uh, and for us, we have been paying money with our mobile phone for uh, maybe 10 years now or even more. And, and uh, the platform for, for mobile payment is, is called M-Pesa. And when you look at the numbers, is that it's a, it's a 20 percent of the whole GDP of 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 of, of Kenya. And what M-Pesa does is that it enables you to 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 put money on your phone and to make all the payments that you want to make. And the most interesting part of it is that it uses it uses a very uh, simple smartphone <laughs> because all those transactions are made are made through text so you are you are able to 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 buy grocery you are able to pay for 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 maybe school fees you are able to pay for parking and 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 you are able even to to bribe the custom officials because Apparently, Kenya we still we still, we still bribe. So all that technology is is done on on a really simple phone, and uh, it's a, it's a, it's 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 a a multi billion dollar transaction that goes through M-Pesa. Almost forty percent of, of of money tra transacted in in Kenya is transacted through M-Pesa. So now when M-Pesa came and it was the, 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 the mode of payment and, and as developers we were thinking, okay, now you are designing a website, a e-commerce website, you need to be paid. So how do you get paid? Because nobody was having uh, the, 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 the plastic, the credit card and the debit card and everybody was able to pay using M-Pesa. So most of the, the, the websites, they have MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and all those cards. And when you visit the websites that have been designed to work in, in, in Kenya, then you will find the M-Pesa there. So what basically it does is that when you, you have uh, you have picked whatever you want to buy. If it's buying a good or service, you have shopped, and then all the details have been entered to. You go now to where you need to pay. So you will skip all the, 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 the PayPal and whatever Visa, Visa American Express and go to to Lipana M-Pesa, which Lipana M-Pesa is, is in Swahili. And uh, M-Pesa simply means mobile money. Pesa is, is money. So when you go to Lipana M-Pesa, which means pay with your mobile money, you'll get this uh, number. It's called the TIL number. So you, you would put the TIL number on your phone and, uh, and select the, the payment option, say how much you want to pay if you want to pay maybe 200, you'll put 200, and then it will confirm with the details of where you are paying so that you don't pay to the wrong person. So after you have verified the details and then you, you, you would, uh, you would uh, give an okay, and the money will be paid, and then you get, you, get, you get a message back that you have already paid. And, and it's, a, it's a system that integrates very well to, 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 to the website that you are able to, to connect your website with your, with, your, with your phone on the payment portal and, and it, it, it works really well. So it's, it's very popular now to, 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 to developers and especially for website users who want to, 
to, to, to buy something online and to pay online and to, to receive it or to pick it or what else, and even to pay for services. And uh, <clears throat> the, the, the technology that we have today has been enabled by the, the fiber connectivity which wasn't there many years ago. There was a story that we were being told uh, uh, some, some Kenyans went to the US and then when they were dri being driven back to the airport, they saw somebody who was digging some, something across the road and then they asked, what are they doing? And then the guy said, these people who are digging there, they are, they are digging, they are putting fiber. And then uh, a, few, a few years later, and, and this guy was visiting Kenya, and, and uh, he saw people digging across the road, and he asked, what are those people doing? And this guy from Kenya was telling, these people who are digging there, they are putting fiber. <laughs> so, so connectivity now lifts 4% of, of, of uh, the country's GDP. And, uh, in most African countries, the, the, the connectivity is, uh, is uh, really restricted by the government. And uh, what, like for us, our, our government does is that it, it said, it looked at how technology helped the society and said, if technology puts up around 4% 4, 4 of the DGP, then it should be, it should be liberal. So one morning, and, and this one I picked from the BBC, one morning even Somalis were shocked by the high internet speed that they were having. And, uh, and then uh, <coughs> Kenya was ranked among the fastest uh, mobile internet uh, uh, speed uh, in the world, uh, beating uh, America, ta ta Taiwan, Sweden and so I asked Rowan if, if she trusts the BBC <laughs> and she said yeah I trust the BBC and, and the, these are figures from the, from the BBC. So I, I, I was just researching before uh, when I was making this presentation to know what kind of speeds uh, people ha are enjoying so I talked to Jason, I talked to Punet from India, I also talked to Sarah from Sweden, and they were trying to just share with me the uh, kind of mobile internet speed that they, they have. And, uh, and I was uh, talking to, to, to somebody uh, about the, the their internet here in Italy, and they said uh, normally the Downloads will be at even a thousand Mbps per second, and then, but the upload will be like 20 or, or lower. So in a, in, in, in a way, in Kenya, we've managed to have a certain, a certain threshold of, 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 uh, of internet provision whereby you can easily get 30 Mbps upload and 30 Mbps on, on download, and uh, this guy was telling me yesterday that uh, when he looked at uh, at Kenya, he he uh, and Africa as a whole, he did not imagine that there would be <laughs> internet. He did not imagine that there would be speed. So in a way, yeah. So before then, it will, we 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 had uh, something called uh, brick. And brick was an invention to give you internet and to give you power. And all in the way of just solving a particular problem that if you are living in a remote area and you cannot access electricity, but you need internet, then what do you do? And the internet now needs electricity. So brick was something like this. and. Uh, it will have power, you will charge it when you want to charge it, but then when you power it on, you will be able to also power the internet. So when it came, then finally we had the mushrooming of free internet 
sports everywhere and people would access it and they were in shops, they were in, in matatu, in buses, in restaurants uh, because of the, 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 the simple innovation. And we, as a developers, we ask why, why should we change something? Why should we in, innovate? Why should we, why should we have an iPhone, you know? And, and, and a friend of mine was uh, sharing with me how when he was watching uh, Steve Jobs present the iPhone and when you scroll it down and, and, and it goes down and, and makes the bounce, he, he was seated somewhere and he just got goosebumps and he said, I want to have this thing. And, <laughs> and, and why would somebody invent something that gives somebody goosebumps in south of France when he's presenting it in California somewhere? Why, why, why would he do that? And you see that as, as developers, it's something that we, we think about uh, to, to continue to be on this way or to continue thinking about how we can change and how we can make it better, considering the fact that when you are doing it, you are by solving very small basic problems, you are, you are solving the world's problems. And just like uh, what M-Pesa did, it was solving a very basic problem, and at the end of the day, it was solving the, 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 the world's problem. So we've had the, 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 the connectivity era, we've had the fiber era and the innovation era, and, and we then went to the information era whereby people wanted to access the information. Now there was the internet, the Wi-Fi, and all those things. And now you, it's the time that you want, you live for information. And uh, Kenya was ranked uh, among us in number 66 uh, uh, on the Good Country Index. And... Uh, and their contribution was basically on, on science and technology. We have, uh, we have uh, every time new incubation centers coming in that uh, empower youth to think in innovation way. And uh, when we do our Joomla days and our Joomla user group, we speak to students and teach them how to how to be entrepreneurs, especially using uh, Joomla, creating websites and, 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 and that kind of stuff. So the things that have driven the digital growth was, has just been to involve everyone, to democratize information, to create new uh, playing fields for business models, to collaborate and innovate. And, and Basically, for me, the, 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 the one down there has been where I have uh, really thrived, they collaborate and innovate, because this is a field that uh, has, uh, has uh, enabled creativity for many people, myself included, and even the having to change business models. Why do we now pay with the M-Pesa as opposed to having cash in your, in, in your pocket? Why do you need M-Pesa as opposed to maybe having a card where you can visit a physical bank to withdraw money and to, to make payments? So this, this, this is a, a huge business in Kenya because they say uh, cow business is almost half, half a billion dollar business. And uh, these, these, are the, these, these are cows that I gave to, to my father-in-law before I got married. And uh, like for us, generally what you do is before you, before you, you, get, you get a wife, you have to take physical cows, like uh, <laughs> walking. So for me, I was supposed to give uh, 
five to have my wife and and this is the first ones that I gave there too. So my mother-in-law, she's a farmer, she, she, she keeps them, but then she, she didn't, she, she was looking for information, how do you feed them, which is the medicine, all those things. And even that, there was, there was, there was, a, there was a, this app that was created to, to, to generate that information. It's called iCow. So iCow is powered by uh, a service provider called Safaricom. So what it basically does is that when somebody wants to information about, about something like how many uh, uh, liters of water and how do I feed and how do I treat, so you send a text message to, 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 to iCow and and put your question there and you get you get a reply on your text message on how to how to care for your for your cow and and even this is is really simple technology that that uh, that is solving a global problem because then you, you are able to thrive in your field you are able to 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 to, to produce more milk and even you are able to care better for your for your for your animals. Yeah, and and the the, the dairy industry in Kenya is worth uh, 463 million dollars, which is which is quite high. So for 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 us, we we as developers, we have to ask ourselves questions every time. Why do we innovate? And you don't innovate for, for, for the big, you innovate for the small. And innovation first has to solve very basic problems. And when you are solving those basic problems, then you are solving the, the world's problem. And, 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 and that's, that's what's happened. The good thing with, with technology like what we have in Africa, it doesn't need an iPhone. It needs a very, most of the time, needs very simple phone and, and, and it works just fine. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's a phone that many people can, can afford and sometimes powers can, it can be used like a, like a torch, it has a calculator, it has all those things that a farmer needs to to help. So that is my presentation. Questions? Questions? Um, I'd be interested in what exactly your relationship with Joomla is. How do you use Joomla in your life, or, or you know, do you, do, you, do you provide services with it? It's a little bit how you came to work with Joomla in the first place. Your, your name is? Oh, sorry, Jay. Sorry? Jay. Maybe you, you can say your name and, uh, and, and, uh, and your country. Uh, my name is Jay Hayden. I'm from England, and I've lived in Germany for most of my life, and now I live in Croatia. Okay. Okay, for me, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm developing with Joomla. I am, uh, I, I do, I, I am a web designer, developer, and, 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 and graphic designer. And uh, for, I think it's six years now, I've been working uh, with Joomla. And uh, since 2015, uh, being a Joomla volunteer, yeah. So I, I have started uh, Joomla user groups in Kenya. And, uh, and in Uganda, in Tanzania, and, and, uh, and, and Burundi, and now so Somaliland. So for, for six years, we have tried to, 
bring awareness of the Joomla uh, use and the Joomla community in, th in the East African region. Yeah. Yeah. Mike here. <laughs> So, so my name is Hagen, I come from France, and my question is about the cows, because it's more or less an IoT project, so you, you have a thing, a cow. And have you ever considered to connect this somehow to Joomla, so that you see where your cows are, or, I don't know, the parameters of these things uh, under the cow, I don't know what's the name in, in English. <laughs> Or this, the milking. I'm, yeah, I, I don't know because I cow was was about questions, question and answer about cows. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. And is it possible to connect your cow somehow? Or? I think I think <laughs> uh, what uh, what you're asking is what some uh, like what we are doing now is to to there is a chip that uh, they are putting yeah. to the to the like. Elephants, for example, yeah, yeah. because now what we have in Kenya and it's in also in Tanzania and and in South Africa mm. that the amount of elephants or rhinos which are endangered are becoming less. Yeah. So they came up with the technology to maybe m map it. And Who, who's they? Uh, the the Kenya Wildlife oh, okay, okay. together with, yeah. the, with the with the South African and the Tanzanian Wildlife to map it so, to, so that you can know yeah. where the elephant is and when it's in danger and when it dies you would know. I'm, I'm just asking for the cows. Yeah. For the cows, uh, most people in Kenya are. So, what they call subsistent farmers. Yeah. So maybe you would have two or three, and you'd basically know where they are. Yeah. So, so the technology <coughs> should work, can work, but then uh, the, uh, most of the time you would know how he's there and she's there, and now we are, we are okay. <laughs> but then we, for, for, for those who have a lot, they are using this technology to, to know where to, you know, to count and, and stuff like that. I just to try to bring this together because Pat Lavat had an example with the Raspberry Pi and Joomla and yeah. the backend to see, I don't know, the weather or some parameters. And it would be so nice to have the quantity of milk inside a Kenyan cow or yeah. I, I don't know what. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so I hope for the next presentation about about that. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's Chiara yeah. from Italy. I really enjoyed this talk because it's completely new world. Yeah. I mean, you're facing completely different problems. Yes, yes. I, and I realized that when I designed um, a Joomla website, yeah which is called Apps for Ag. Yeah. Do you know this website? No, no. No, it's promoted by CTA. It's a, a company in the Netherlands that's working for farmers around the world and Africa as well. Yes, yes. And when I saw the Ag Cow, I recognized one of the applications that was inside this, uh, this website that I designed using Joomla. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, uh, you uh, how did you, ma how, are you using Joomla to solve basic problems, to make big change? Are you doing something like right now? Do you have a project or something that you're working on um, to try to, to bring a change? Yeah. To, yes? Yeah. You, is that something you can <coughs> tell us? Okay, or? okay, okay. So what, what uh, for, for my, my first involvement is to, to help because most people don't, this is our typical uh, way of, uh, of development. Somebody will go to somebody else to tell them, okay, you are a developer, you know about this website thing, so please make for me a website. But then they don't know that it's something that they can do for themselves. 
and uh, and right now the, the the situation is different because people can access laptops and the internet is there and and so for for me my first project was to to just give awareness that these are things that you 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 can do for yourself and then the 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 other is to to I, I create websites for, for, for women who are doing small uh, handcraft things, like, uh, like creating this, and uh, they don't know nothing about the website, but then they, they create beautiful things, so I help them in getting their, 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 their products, what they do with their hands to, to, to the market. Through, through the use of the website for, for Joomla, yeah. yeah. So um, right now we are working with uh, five universities in Kenya and uh, a few uh, around East Africa and we have uh, an event called CMS Africa which is uh, every, every year and uh, next year around March we will be in, uh, in Kigali, Rwanda and basically what we do is that uh, we, we bring all the content management systems together, Joomla, WordPress, uh, and, and, and Magento, and uh, they can interact with people and people can, 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 uh, can learn from it. So basically what CMS does is to hold conference in different uh, countries, and this year we did it in, uh, in Nigeria, and uh, next year we'll be doing it in, uh, in Kigali, Rwanda. And this time Joomla is uh, very much involved because the president of Joomla and, uh, and, and, and some departmental heads will be coming to, to Rwanda for the event. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.